everyone, and welcome back to Animal Jam here with Miss Rainy Moon, our adorable forest jackalope, and the adorable little Sunny Peach, her best friend, a tiny little honeybee that follows us everywhere with adorable little flowers in her hair. Oh, I love Sunny Peach so much. Hopefully she's gathering plenty of food to eat from over here, but I have a very, very, very important announcement that I'm still sort of in shock about. So I was just minding my own Siri beeswax, checking my business email, and there was something sitting in there from Animal Jam headquarters quarters for me. So I need to get this out of the way because this sort of shocked me. They messaged me and they were like, hey, Siri, loved your chemistry class. Love that you're trying to teach people while playing Animal Jam. That's awesome sauce. Have a year subscription. So that happened. I didn't ask for it. I didn't like poke at them. I've never really been given things even though like our channel has gotten so big. I don't ask for those kinds of things, but I'm going to go ahead and put in the video description that we now have been given a year subscription to Animal Jam from Animal Jam because I want to be really upfront with you guys about that. But yeah, I didn't ask for it. It just kind of happened, which was very interesting. But as a result, my friends, we also have a lot of diamonds now. We have a lot of diamonds and we have a lot of coins and I don't really, I, ah, that happened. So I'm not sure what to do about that. I'm kind of in shock. I'm really humbled and I just really hope that whatever we do, we'll be able to share some amazing adventures together and I will be able to use what they have given me in terms of the subscription and in terms of the coins and the diamonds that came with it as a way to be able to better our community and try out new things and share more adventures and teach you guys because gosh darn it, under it all, I am I'm still someone who used to be a science teacher for elementary school students and heck or high water every video game I play I try to insert a little bit of that education in there so ah take that take that I'm gonna teach you guys whether you like it or not Rawr. all right that said we have a lot of diamonds <laughs> And that means we can actually do something that I really wanted with them. So with our beautiful Miss Rainy Moon here, I actually really feel like with Rainy Moon, our bunny, she really belongs at her little house or inside a den. And I'm so happy to come back home. Look at this. Our house is so wonderful. Oh, and it has this beautiful art. I am still totally in love with this masterpiece. This is just so cute. It's like a portrait for her house. So I really love this den just because it was my very first den and I'm super attached to it with Miss Rainy moon and so what I really secretly wanted to do when we got our schoolhouse tree house is actually have one of the lemurs become the teacher for this den and so I wanted to get like little teacher glasses and have a little teacher outfit and have a lemur in a tree be the teacher for this area but then it was diamonds and I didn't have enough diamonds and now I have enough diamonds so without further ado you guys we're going to create our new lemur teacher and it's going to be based off of the ringtail lemur because that is the lemurs that they have currently available and I am definitely eyeing up making a few of these other animals too which is going to be so much fun but lemurs 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 you guys know how much I love the lemurs I think it's kind of amazing that Animal Jam actually partnered with the Duke Lemur Research Center right like about a month after we actually physically visited the Duke Lemur Research Center and again I tell you guys about that all the time but it was such a fun experience even if it was 103 that day or something ridiculous like that and you guys can see the vlog where we saw the lemurs that these lemurs are based off of up close and personal with their babies and we also saw my favorite lemur the mouse lemur the mouse lemur is actually my favorite lemur on the planet I'm actually going to show you guys a few pictures of it now because it was so cute and we did see the mouse lemur even though it was hiding inside of its little dark room the mouse lemur is uh, nocturnal so it was actually hiding inside of a dark room and you had to like close all the doors and lift a little curtain to peek in there and see it and then you could see him scuttling around but the Duke Lemur Research Center actually recently celebrated the birth of a few more mouse lemur babies which is really fun but lemurs are quite amazing they're primates almost all but one species are found on Madagascar and I learned so much during that trip there that especially that I really love lemurs so I was extremely excited when the lemurs I actually have a ringtail lemur plushie sitting on my desk right now from the Duke Lemur Research Center I was really excited when lemurs got added into Animal Jam and a little sad when I couldn't afford it and now we can and so we're gonna go ahead and celebrate lemurs and learning more about lemurs by creating a lemur teacher so let's do this <gasps> master gassy friend that is totally not the name I want to have <laughs> mr. loud rabbit eternal posh star of uh, fabulous muddy claws we might sparkle glam -roo. I think wretched loud girl this is <laughs> Earl darling octopus <laughs> countess berry pride <laughs> 
I think I'm going to have to eternal the foot. Yeah, you guys, I don't think this works. We're going to have to go ahead and, oh my gosh, swimming spirit house. I'm going to have to just manually, okay, let me manually pick a name and I will be back and we will have our new school teacher lemur and I'll be able to tell you guys about lemurs while we run around and set up our awesome schoolhouse. All right, and that's a name I can live with, Professor Barry Jim. I think that's a pretty awesome name for a uh, educational educator lemur. So let's go ahead and oh, we're gonna buy it. Yes, okay, that's fine. Take the diamonds. <gasps> There we go, our second creature ever. I can't believe this, we're actually a lemur now, you guys. This is gonna be so much fun. And I will be able to show off so many more of the things you guys have been sending my way in terms of all of the decorative items. We'll have to figure out if we have something really good. Oh, bird nest would be so cute. We'll have to figure out if we have something really good for a professor lemur. So that is our, our new angle that we're going at here. And we have a little necklace we could put on. We've got a lot of stuff and I need to dig through quite a few things that you guys have sent to me as well. Uh, oh, the rare custom top hat. I wonder if you can like alter that somehow. And the lasso, diamond inklet. So yeah, this is going to be our new professor, our professor lemur, professor Barry Jim, which I really like. So she's going to be our educator. I'm definitely going to alter up her colors a little bit to be more like the actual ringtail lemur, which is a really fun lemur. It's very, very popular too. You usually can find ringtail lemurs in pretty much all uh, zoos because they breed very easily. Uh, should I give her like normal colored eyes, maybe some brown eyes like so. Actually, that looks pretty cool. And then pattern, should I give her any kind of pattern? Oh my gosh, the spots are so cute. I actually really like, look at her patterns. These are really precious. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Look at that, she can have leaves going all the way down her back. Oh my gosh. Yeah, those are pretty fun. Those patterns are actually really, really fun. Um, I kind of love the dots. I kind of love those dots and just making it so that she's got dots going all down her side, even though that is nothing like a real lemur. A real lemur is just going to kind of look, um, it's just gonna look like that, you know, like a ringtail lemur. Oh my gosh. But yeah, ringtail lemurs you can pretty much see at most zoos because they breed the easiest. Uh, let's do this, this looks really cool. And I wonder, we should have one of the pets, Ocean ocean Deer, which is one of the butterflies somebody gave to us, who is creative and loves the disco ball and morning dew as its food. So we'll go ahead and is there anything I can get little Ocean Deer at the pet shop? Let's check it out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he could have angel wings. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. No, no, no. Okay, wait. He can have like, oh my gosh, that changes like his wings. That's amazing. And he could have, oh, I get it. Look at that. He's got so many different options. No, we're good. We're good. I just want to leave him as he is because he's adorable. All right, so we'll put little ocean deer with her. Or I wonder if she should have like the squirrel, good girl, the squirrel, who loves parasols and nectar. Hmm, wait, we get a fox. Oh, I totally forgot about the fox. A happy fox who loves cozy burrows and pickles. Oh my gosh, we'll go with ocean deer for now because ocean deer can probably get up and down. Oh my gosh, and we have the little birds in the bird nest. That's so cute. Professor Barry Jim, welcome to your school. So Professor Barry Jim, oh my gosh, look at that. Walking on the hind legs is another thing that the lemurs do, which is a really fun way to Watch them move. And fun fact, the uh, ringtail lemurs are actually the most terrestrial out of all of the lemurs. Usually they will be down on the ground about 33%. That's really specific, I thought too. But 33% of their time they will spend on the ground, but the rest of the time they're up in the trees. And there's other lemur species that very, very rarely come down on the ground, kind of like sloths are mostly up in the trees. They're arboreal up in the trees. You guys are hopefully learning some new vocabulary. I love her. So this is Professor Barry J. She's going to be in charge of the school and taking care of the school and making sure that you guys will have some awesome classes available pretty much at all times. I am still really humbled and really blown away by the fact we have all of these gems and diamonds now. And like I said, I'm going to try to use them to the best of my ability so that we can set up special dens where you guys can come and you can role play here. You can have fun. You can learn from each other. You can hopefully find some new friends that share in our community and you can come over. Oh my gosh, look how many likes to the masterpiece. Thank you guys so much for liking the masterpieces that people have given us. It means a lot to them. It means a lot to me to see that kind of support among our other classmates. That's how it is. And then we've got our really cute little, oh my gosh, Barry Jim. I'm so excited. Look at her. She's so cool. I love her spots. 
man, I love her. She just, she's our professor. So she's going to be, oh, can you imagine how much fun it would be to have her as a teacher, like swinging from place to place all over the classroom, like above your heads while you're learning? That's going to be awesome. But yeah, so we have Professor Barry Jim, and actually while I was looking up more facts to refresh myself about ringtail lemurs and learning that they actually spend 50% of their diet uh, time, like their eating time, is spent eating uh, very specific fruits and leaves from the tamarind tree, which surprised me. So I wouldn't have thought that such a diverse species, such as lemurs, would be really, really kind of niche eaters where they want to eat specifically one thing. But the ringtail lemur, which is what this model is based off of, because like I said, they're the most characteristic. Most people can look at a ringtail lemur and be like, that's a lemur. Whereas the mouse lemurs you saw earlier, you probably don't even know what the heck those were. But they actually do spend most of their like eating time eating just from the tamarind tree in the wild, which I thought was pretty interesting. But I realized when I was looking that kind of nonsense up that we have kind of made a bit of a mistake setting up our cafe the way we have. Yes, it's great to have some pie and other things and, and hot cocoa and coffee and tea and everything set out for you guys. But we're animals. We're animals. What am I doing? We need to put out like a proper little, we need to put out like plants for everybody to eat. We need to make sure that we've got like nectar put out for other animals because like the lemurs will also actually eat nectar uh, like the honey like even the beehive I guess when we are at this place the beehive will go ahead and go on the table so that you guys will have something to eat but yeah it just hit me that I have been putting out the wrong kinds of foods we're animals what am I doing putting out like normal type food for humans on a table where clearly I should be having like larkspur we should be able like mm, clearly see we would be eating this so Here's some salad now. And then the fern can come down here for some of our herbivorous eaters. Some of our plant eaters can just go ahead and pluck off of the ferns. So I'm gonna put some of these over here. This is the cafeteria redone so that it's actually properly laid out for the various animal diets that we have. So now, when you, oh my gosh, that cake is too big. <laughs> I was gonna put the cake out, but it's way too big. So now when you guys come, you can come over and you can actually eat according to your animal diet. So I will try to add in some other things to to accompany, uh, like maybe if I find some, some fish or something, to put it on the table so that we can serve our diverse set of diets that we have among our little classmates. But look at her go. So Professor Berry Jim, looking awesome, really fun. I'm so excited. We will be getting additional dens with our diamonds and we will be opening them up so that we can have the museum. I'm definitely thinking that, not the Crystal Palace, but I'm definitely thinking Sky Kingdom would be perfect for our museum den. So we'll be getting that in the future and then I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled on some of these other ones I'm thinking it may be fun to have either multiple schools or um, like Pexton would be really fun because it's so big but I also love the enchanted hollow so I make it the enchanted hollow as a place where we can like store all of our plants so that our plants are kind of like in the ground um, maybe Pexton for that no I think we would go or like the spring cottage because it has a big yard so you know like maybe spring cottage or maybe enchanted hollow so that we could put all of our plants over there. So we've got so many things, so many places we're going to try to make it look really nice and grow with you guys. So I'm really looking forward to that. All right. So, oh man, Professor Barry Jim, I can't wait to see what adventure she gets up to. What kind of party? Bounce house party is going on. Fancy pizza castle, cool pizza house, rare galaxy bash. Uh, there's some adventures going on. What else is coming up pretty soon? Bunnies only. I didn't know there was a bunnies only party. Man, we might have to go that, to that like next time and take Miss Rainy Moon because I think she would enjoy that. Hmm, I wonder if that's where you get those those carrot plots too. <gasps> that would be so much fun. But let's go through and open up some of our mail because I am jam full on our jamograms again. And we will let Professor Berry Gum see what kind of class we're going to set up for the day. So you might have to pop by if you want to later and see if we've, uh, we've changed up what class we're offering for the afternoon. All right, so let's go ahead and pop these open. I'm going all the way to the bottom to try to do it in order. Little tiny tigers! Dun, dun, dun. <gasps> a bird bath with a chickadee! I love chickadees! I watch chickadees all day from my real life home. Oh, thank you so much, little tiny tigers. That is so much fun. And oh, vine rug! This is beautiful. Thank you so much, Alex. Oh my gosh. I wish I could buddy you, but I'm afraid I am 100% full on buddies. I'm actually over the buddy list by a few buddies. I don't know how I did that. I think I broke Animal Jam. Whoops. All right. And then we have from Bunny. <gasps> 
Flowering peach tree, you guys are too amazing. A patched couch, that's so cute. Oh my gosh, a plushie for my collection. Oh, a little fox plushie, thank you cats. Kate and Fry, oh my gosh. Gem encrusted necklace, that's too beautiful. And a beret, oh my gosh. You guys, how many items and things are there in this freaking game? Lilac, thank you. Oh my gosh, another porch swing, okay, okay. Oh my gosh, hang on. How many items are there in this game? I am gonna have so much inspiration for all of my other series. A lot of people wonder like, Siri, Siri, why are you doing like Animal Jam? And other, I, I love collecting items. I am, I will totally admit it, I am a bit of a pack rat, even when it's online stuff. I love doing it. Uh, I love collecting all of the items and I love the inspiration I can get from everything too, because I can come in and play Animal Jam and get inspiration for all my other series from this. And that's why I play it because it's just, it just is super inspiring for me. And I love that I can make my dens and then share them with you guys. That means a lot to me too. All right, so, oh my gosh, that's really cool. But again, always let me know what you would enjoy for Animal Jam, you guys. I know I've rambled on a lot today. I hope you've enjoyed looking at mouse lemurs, but let me open up a few more of our Jamagrams to try to try to clear out the collection. Oh gosh, ah, oh, seal stars, thank you. <gasps> Baby palm tree, yes. Oh, Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much for making your videos. Oh, thank you so much, Soul Cat. I hope you guys will let me know what you love about Animal Jam because I want to make sure you guys are having fun and learning while you're at it because I have to do that because I'm a teacher. Oh, a rare blanket. Oh my gosh, that looks so comfortable. <laughs> we really need our museum. <laughs> Next time may definitely be running the museum. <gasps> a flowering apple tree. Eh, Animal Maggie, one, uh, one, two, three. Thank you so much. And Gizmo. Oh my gosh, a crossbow. Oh, I need to start doing the adventures. You rock and an impact on my life. I would love to be your buddy. Oh, thank you, Colleen Love. Oh, it's so cute. We have some more masterpieces. And a rare flower spring crown. Thank you, Animal Maggie. Oh, and Pony Girl. Holiday sweater, that is adorable. I'm totally going to be wearing that for Christmas. That is just too cute. Oh, and another beehive. Thank you, Tumblebee. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> You're jamtastic. I gifted you something. Thank you, rabbits. A Leia, a flower lay. Oh my gosh, I am Hawaiian actually, so that means a lot to be able to have a flower lay. I can't wait to try that on. And blue Bulbasaur, flower spring crown. You guys are amazing. I'm going to have to like make a secondary account just to store all my flower spring grounds. <laughs> There's so many. It's so awesome. Oh, rare reindeer slippers. You guys, thank you. It's going to make a really fun little Christmas special. I can't wait to have like a Christmas special. This is a favorite item of mine and I want you to have it. Love, Dusk. Oh, thank you, Dusk. <gasps> That's so beautiful. Oh, I need to put that up in our little classroom. But yeah, I try my best to make sure that anything you guys send me I can share. Love. Look, it's a panda eating bamboo. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. But yeah, I try my best to make sure anything you guys send to me, I can try and set it up so that we can share it so that you can enjoy the world too. There we go. Now we've got a nice little, okay, can I put this? And do I need to, no! Ah! Fennec foxes are the smallest foxes in the world, but they have giant ears that make them the world's cutest. Adopt a pet Fennec fox and Animal Jam Play Wild. Ah, oh, thank you so much. So, oh, also, do you guys want me to play Play Wild? I'm, I'm thinking about it. Oh, gosh. I'm making a giant mess over here. All right, what about now? Nope. Nope, that stained glass window refuses to go in very easily. So we'll, we'll fuss around with that later. We have more honey. So what kind of animals eat honey, you guys? That's a pretty good question. See if you can work your little, your little student-y brains there. All right, we'll put another tree. Like, so now we've got a fridge. I'm just gonna assume, oh my gosh, I can put stuff into the actual tree. That's really cool. <gasps> I'm gonna hang, no, where to go? <laughs> I accidentally put away my other my other honey beehive. I didn't mean to. Come back to me. There you are. All right. I'm going to hang the honey beehives over here. Ah, that's so awesome. I love it. I love it. All right. And we'll work on putting in more food. So now we've got all of these leaves for, like I said, our leaf eaters to eat. And we'll work on adding more things in and sharing more of the absolutely beautiful. Thank you, Colleen. Some of the absolutely beautiful artwork you guys have been sharing. Oh, and Professor Berry Jim, what kind of adventure should we go on with her? It's going to be so much fun to see how she's going to try to teach you guys. So we may alter what the uh, class has offered today, but I will unlock the 
again and make it available. So if you guys would come, like, like to come and use this as a place to be able to host classes, as a place to be able to meet other people in our community, then come on by and enjoy. And also enjoy our little pirate Barry and her a new friend. Did I forget to, I think, okay, let's look at that. Confident, his favorite toy is the wooden hideout and his favorite food is cheese cubes. That's adorable. And then pirate Barry, alfalfa. I have to see if I can find some of that, but she has like a giant hamster play place now, which is so much fun. But yes, so we'll continue figuring out what the heck we're doing in Animal Jam. Let me know what you guys like, and I will definitely try to tackle those things. And holy moly days, it looks like we're going to be here for a while. So I hope you guys are looking forward to the adventures, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.